Psalms chapter 134, a song of degrees. And they're, they're, I read you a couple weeks ago what they say. I, I don't go what they say. Behold. That started the last, Psalm 133, behold, blessed, that means happy. And let's see if we can find it real quick. Genesis, Genesis. Genesis chapter 29, no, no, Genesis chapter 30, was later boy, and Leah names her boy, uh, Genesis 30 verse 13, the biblical definition dictionary in the King James Bible. And Leah said, happy am I. That's the first time happy shows up in the Bible. For the daughters will call me blessed and called his name Asher. Asher means happy, blessed. Happy means blessed. Blessed means happy. There it is. So, happy. Bless he to make the Lord happy. Whoa. God's supposed to give to me. I'm supposed to, I'm God. Me, make God happy? That's the modern Christian. Bless ye the Lord. All ye servants of the Lord. All the servants. Make God happy. Kind of sad if you're not a servant for the Lord. made a statement to my daughter just before this started I'm not gonna put that's a whole nother teaching but there's some jobs that people are doing they think God is pleased I don't think he's pleased I would have a statement but that statement would need classification and other remarks but I'm gonna be quiet which by night stand in the house of the Lord so there's a nighttime post of the priest and Levite. And the psalmist calls to those servants who got the night shift, bless and make happy the Lord. No griping and complaining about what hour it is. And there were night watches and night posts after 6 p.m. And the psalmist writes to those, everybody's sleeping. You make the Lord happy. Thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary. Now, I got to tell you the truth. I find that hard. You say, what do you mean? I know people do it. I'm not against it. But man, every time that lifting of hands, I think of that worship music junk. I think of the Pentecostals. And it is a Bible directive to lift our hands. And I try it every once in a while. And I feel so uncomfortable. And I shouldn't, but because of, you know, the Pentecostals and their hand raising and this modern song worship and raising their hands and you look up pictures and, and Google and you put the word worship and you hit the, the, little, the little magnifying glass, everybody got their hands up. And before I was saved, I'll tell you something, before I was saved, when I was a teenager, I went to rock concerts. 
And I remember at the rock concerts, we'd be there waving our hands. We would do the wave. Everybody raised their hand, and we all, you know. And it, it's a biblical thing, but, I mean, for me, it makes me feel awkward. It's my fault. When the Bible says, lift up your hands in the sanctuary. May I say that we're talking about the house of the Lord. I'm not talking about a church building. When throughout the book of Acts, they met in people's house. And it would have been a living room, kitchen, dining room, whatever they had in the house. Yes, I'll stick my nose out. I don't believe in church building. And if I, the Lord ever gave me a church, we would never purchase a building and property. We would rent. We meet right now in a gazebo on Friday, Friday afternoons with the Bible study. And man, it's hot, but when the Lord sends that breeze, and a lot of people, when I tell them, I say, you know, we meet in the gazebo. They're like, you mean the old time way? <laughs> I've had a lot of people say that. I'm like, it is? And I go look it up, and yeah, the old time would be outside. Glory to God, I'm doing something old fashioned. At sanctuary, we're going to, that's the temple. The temple was gone during after Babylon, and the temple has been gone since Titus 70 AD. We're not under the law. Why are you using the name for an Old Testament building? Oh. Go ahead, try to find altar in the New Testament. We looked it up the other day. Come forward to the altar. Is it wrong? No, I don't think it's wrong. My personal opinion? The Lord has made heaven. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord twice. Make God happy. Verily, verily, report, recorded twice. What's the point of Psalms 134? The building in the sanctuary. No, bless the Lord. Make him happy. What makes him happy? Go in all the world and preach the gospel. Well, you know, I let my light shine. That's not what God told you to do. Well, Jesus said, let you. He was talking to Jews. And the Jews are that shining light on top of the hill, which is the golden uh, temple. Our temples was within. The, this, the, 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 the commandment to Christian is to love other Christians. And to love the world. You know, and I don't know if they're real. I don't. I don't trust much of man. I watch these. These uh, some of these. Oh, what do they call it? Program. I forget. Well, I watch the ice road truckers and all that, and the crab fishermen reality show. Say, what are you thinking about when you're watching that? I don't want that job. That's hard. And then I'm also thinking. I hope they get to know the Lord Jesus Christ. What have you done about it? I mailed all of them gospel trap. Why are you saying that? Because that's what makes God happy. That's what makes God happy. You say, I do maintenance around the church. I don't think that pleases God because I don't see anywhere in the scripture. What pleases God, pray to him, exalt him, praise him, sing blessings to him, sing the hymns to him, and preach the gospel and grow Christians. God is not pleased. Hey, I got that guy saved. 
Amen, God. You just said, yeah, I know. That pleases the Lord. What doesn't please the Lord is when you leave that man alone and you have nothing to do with him. You don't grow him. Joseph Caswell, who witnessed to me April 25th, 1987. Yeah, he showed me the way and I got saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I did. I got saved. God's glory. That guy left me out. To... That guy had nothing to do with my salvation, nothing to grow ever again. And when I started to show growth in the Bible and I started to show light and I started to do right in the Bible, that man in the church that he represented turned their back on me. God is not pleased. God is pleased, the Bible says, when you help support the work of people who are out there ministering the seed. God is not pleased with that woman today. Hey, condemnation, condemnation. That's all you do is condemnation. What else is there? Now God's pleased with the ones that come up, put their hand on the back, or thank me for doing what I'm doing, or come up and say, hey, you know, I, I got a gospel track, man. Hey, I go out. Amen. God's pleased with that. Now the Lord had made heaven and earth. I don't know why that's in there. But that defiles the public education. You can't put Psalm 134 3 in the public education. Did you see that? God bless America. Not with Psalm 134 3. They believe they come from monkeys, the Big Bang, and missing links, and all the other garbage. In order to be saved, you got to believe God's the creator. Hebrews says, you got to know, Hebrews chapter 11. Let's go a little, this is a short song today. We will have time. I said a prayer. Really? I dealt with people who said prayers. You can't deal with them. Because you have, you have deceived them. Hebrews 11 verse 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please him, God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. So what are you going to do if you get an evolutionist come up to you and get saved? He doesn't believe who God is. God's the creator. The Lord had made heaven and earth bless happy three times. Now this time the blessings of the Lord upon the people out of Zion. Do you know why the church steals the names and the applications of the temple? Because they want to be blessed like God's blessed in Israel. That's what. He, that's all it is. You say anything else, it, it's a lie. We want the blessings that God applies on Israel. If you love me and keep my commandments, do everything I tell you to do, God's going to give us all kinds. See, we don't want the Pauline ministry. We want to... We don't want the perils of the ministry of Paul. We want the pearls of the ministry. So if we model ourselves after the temple and God's the center of our building, we must be blessed. No, it may be the devil's blessing you. It may be the devil deceiving you to thinking you're blessed and you're not. I mean, after all, the devil has ministers too. A short one today.